in the object oriented context what is the unit test or what is the unit testing so in unit testing whenever we talk about object oriented an encapsulated class is the focus of unit testing here because in conventional software we used the component or the module as the one unit so here we have a class and in this class we have variables that is the attributes and then we have functions you can call it as procedures operations method whichever name you like so this is a whole class and encapsulating the functions which are operating on certain data the data are variables the data on which this function work so the encapsulated class this whole class is the focus of unit testing the operation or the functions or the method in class these are the smallest testable units in object oriented paradigm right the functions the operations because a class may contain a number of different operation there will not be only one function there can be multiple functions for example if this class let us say any name calculator or operations so what all operation can be there it can have add it can have multiply it can have say division and many others so a class can contain different variety of functions or operation and a particular operation it also may exist as a part of number of different classes because we know about polymorphism we know about the function overloading so we can have this add function or any of this function in another class also okay so we have to test a single operation as a part of a class for example if you have a class 2 and you have a add function here also this add function has to be tested as in the context of class 2 and first one add has to be tested in in context of operation or the class 1 you can say so this is the main uh, scenario here let me let me give an example to make it more clear for example we have an say operation x and this is in super class say super class is just a class so we have a function x here now we have multiple sub classes so this function x may be inherited by say class c which is inheriting class a so this all content of class a will come to class c okay so each subclass uses this operation x but this operation x or function x or method x this is applied within the context of private attributes and the operation defined for the subclass so this function same function in both of these classes will behave work differently so it is necessary for us to test this operation or a function in the context of each of the subclasses so when we did the conventional software or the traditional what was that unit testing was the module was the component but in class testing for this object oriented software this is equivalent to the unit testing of the conventional software okay class testing is done for operations which are encapsulated by a class and also the state behavior of the class because the function are going to change the data and the state will be changed every time so method will be in unit testing and thread will be in system testing 